Matter to Monsters by Anonymous. I've done the research. I've read the books forward and back, but none of it was enough. I followed the checklist. I took the meds. I went to my therapist appointments, but I wanted answers. A neuropsychological exam cost around $3,000. $3,000. Two days off of work and school, 20 multiple choice surveys to know why my comfort zone is in my empty bedroom. To know why I wish the world could see right through me. To know why every conversation feels like trying to ride a bike in a hurricane. The blood test said my best friends are fireflies and birds. All which flew away when I get boring because <laughs> you know me, I'm really boring. The x-rays came back saying that my sorry, I can't, my I've got homework, taxes and curing of cancer to do excuses were running thin from overuse. The results came back to me like a scarlet letter. It was like they were blank. Nothing. It just didn't make any sense. I had no fever of the mind, or common cold of the heart, or tumor in my head. I was fine. Everyone in this world is a walking pair of lungs. Why am I the only one with smoke in my throat? The only one allergic to air, the only waste of oxygen. But this won't ever change. Tomorrow will be just like today, only different because this illness is only seen as a popular image of stars over the seas. But this isn't pretty. This is claws reaching out from the trees. This is keep me away from high places. This is taste the fear between my teeth, holding me back from anything I can ever seem to have the courage to say. Social anxiety is the monster in my closet that keeps me from telling my family any of this social anxiety is the monster under my bed that keeps me up at night about anything, anything I've ever said. Social anxiety is the monster in my head that told me not to start this speech. It's the one that told me to give up, go home, because what if they laugh at you? What if they stare at you? What will they think? What will they say? But now, standing here, I wonder if the results told me nothing because Batman doesn't save anyone from mental illness so I have to save myself. I have to learn to order my own food, to ask questions when I have them, to go to parties when I'm scared because while speaking through the silence is just as hard as trying to breathe underwater. I know it's worth it, no matter the monsters. I'm learning. Thank you.